Hi, this is how you use Jeopardy Labs. It's uh, Jeopardy Labs is a place where you can make um, uh, Jeopardy templates of your own, and that's what you're going to do today. You don't even need an account. The link for it is uh, underneath my blog, underneath this video. Mm -hmm. It's JeopardyLabs.com. Um, you can find the link, like I said, underneath this video. So go to Start Building when you get to the website. And remember, you can do this side by side. Um, to this video or you can just watch the video and then try it. You don't need an account but you have to just make up a password so that you can continue changing and fixing it uh, later on. So the password, um, you decide what it is, just write it down somewhere safe. Let me make my password here. And then click on start building. Where it says enter title, just write your name and then Jeopardy board and then you're gonna have uh, it's on the blog the instructions but you have to have three categories um, the three categories the first one to enter category here is gonna be biomes the second category is gonna be atmosphere and the last category is gonna be food webs don't worry about those other categories it won't show when your board is active but those are the three that you're going to have uh, active today. Now you're going to make each question. And if you see, there's a total of 500. 100s are the easiest, and 500s are supposed to be the hardest. So think about that when you're making up your questions. Now, where do those questions come from? You can use your Cornell questions, um, the questions that we used to study for the Cornell notes. So you can use that, or you can make up your own. Just be very careful because if your questions are incorrect or your answers are incorrect, then your whole grade for this Jeopardy board project will go down. So for example, biomes. You click on it, 100, and here it says what is and the answer. Um, so you can feel free to use this first one if you'd like or if you want to make your own first one, it's up to you. But it says answer here. So um, you have to write the answer here and then what, like the question here. For example, um, a biome that has little rain and is very dry. What would that end? What would the answer be? A desert. So where it says question, do you just write the answer here? So it is kind of backwards. So just remember you. This is probably the most difficult part. Make sure you write down here like the clue, and here's like the answer. Because in Jeopardy, it's kind of like backwards. Um, and then save it and then create your next one you get the idea and then when you want to see it in action you go here this little button where it says save and to play it you click here but I want you to carefully copy this down um, because if you don't copy this down you can't go back to ch uh, change it or recover it so here's to play it and here's to keep working. Let's say um, I want to uh, keep working on it. I would click here and then you got to put your password again. And see, you can continue working on it. So you have to make sure you remember uh, to write down that code. So let's go back to save. And if I want to, I'm going to write this down. I wrote it down. And if I want to go play it to see what it looks like to play, that one's here. Start. And you see I only made up one question. I do have the categories. And then there's the question, a biome that has very little rain. Um, that is a desert. Correct. OK. So that is the end of this video. Um, I don't expect you to finish today unless you're very efficient and good at this. But you're going to add two more categories. You're going to have a complete Jeopardy board by the end of Wednesday. So make sure you really worked on this, okay? Have a good day.